So just a quick video to show you the Simple CPU version 1 games console. We have all the cutting edge controllers uh, interfaces. So we have a rotary encoder to allow you to move your player left and right. And if you also push down on that knob, you'll trigger the fire button. And we also have switches uh, to set the various game modes uh, that we will need for our games. In addition to that, we have a Super NES games pad. So you can, again, you can move your player left, right, up and down and also got some fire buttons as, as well. So we can configure this games console with different games. So we can just upload a bit file and to show that in action, uh, we're going to upload a Space Invaders type game. Uh, so when you first load it, this game will enter autoplay mode. So you can see the player moving left and right at the bottom there and firing the green missiles up the screen. But we can take over control of that character by pressing the start button. And now using the controller here, we can move our character left and right and we can press the blue button there to fire a missile. And if you're very good, you'll hit the Space Invaders, but you can see here I missed uh, terribly. Uh, and if we move now to another position and try and press fire, you can see I can't fire another missile because in this version of the game, you only get one missile at a time. It was to simplify the, the game logic. But as soon as you hit something or it goes off the screen, uh, then you can fire your next missile, as you can see here. So rapid fire mode there. If the Super NES games pad is not your, for you, you can change to a different controller. So we can use the rotor encoder now to again move our player left and right. So we can position our player to take that shot at the alien. So I'm just moving him around there. It's a little bit unsensitive, so I could increase the, the sensitivity. But if you press that same knob there, you can see I can fire my missile uh, and I can fire through the barricade. Obviously, the Space Invader missiles can't go through the barricade, so you can shelter there uh, to, for protection. But if you don't get it quite right, uh, then obviously you'll explode as well and you'll use, lose a life. So, yeah, this is our first version of the game. So I think you've got all the basic uh, uh, interfaces there that we need or all the basic components that we need for our game. So now it's just a question of writing those games. Uh, in addition to these controllers, uh, for later versions, I want to add a PS2 keyboard using this PS2 interface. And I also may add something to do with the serial port. You can see it. So this serial port connector, maybe using a small Arduino Nano to implement a pedal or a steering wheel controller to allow us to have different games. OK, so that's where I'll finish this video. Do look out for a games console web page on the Simple CPU website. Uh, I'm always finished writing that one and I'll put a few of these in the lab so you can have a go programming them yourself.